What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. Today I decided I'm going to do a full day of low carb eating. I get a lot of people asking me what exactly do I eat throughout the day so I thought might as well do a whole video on that and then I'm going to show you exactly how I track all my macros. So first off let's start with breakfast. I like to keep my breakfast uh, high in fat, high protein, and very low to no carbs. So I have right at half a cup of egg whites, one whole egg, four ounces of steak, and then right around 10 grams of peanut butter, natural peanut butter. So I'm gonna enjoy this and then we'll get along with the day. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I'm starting this video off at 12 o'clock. So my first meal is at noon. Uh, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes when you have a kid. And I woke up this morning around, I don't know, eight o'clock and then did right at like 30 minutes of cardio. So I'm starting off very late, but I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna get all my calories in, so don't worry about that. Another question I get asked is how often do I eat? So I like to eat every like two and a half hours to three hours. So let's talk about tracking macros. I think it's something very important if you're trying to build muscle or lose body fat, because if you don't know how much you're eating and stuff, you don't know what to adjust according to your goals. So if you're looking to put on muscle, you need to make sure you're eating enough protein, you're getting enough calories, and if you're trying to lose body fat, then you need to know what you need to take away to drop your calories, drop your carbs and fat. So if you don't track, how do you ever get to where you want to go? So first off, I like to use an app called MyFitnessPal. A lot of y'all have probably already heard of that app. That is one of the most popular tracking apps out there. I find it to be the easiest one to use. So all you have to do is go to MyFitnessPal, you click on that, and then you go to whatever meal that you're tracking at that time. You click on it and then you select whatever meals you have in there. You can search them. So for me, I had the egg whites. Click on that. So I had two servings of egg whites. Add that. I had one whole egg. So I need to click one serving of that. And then steak. Click on that. Four ounces. Click on that. So that is my breakfast right there. 332 calories. Protein was 39, carbs was two, and then fat was 17. So that is my breakfast, so it's super easy. And then if you don't have something already in MyFitnessPal, all you have to do to add it, let's see, let's go to meal two. You click on the scan button here, and you can scan any kind of products that you want to scan, like this muscle tech right here, protein, so you can do supplements as well. Just go to uh, the barcode, click on that, and see it scans it right there. So it's super easy to scan anything in. So if you don't already have it in MyFitnessPal, you don't actually have to type it in to search it. All you have to do is scan it. Just got in a bodybuilding.com package. This is their new protein bars. So they came out with some protein bars maybe like, I don't know, three or four months ago, but this is their new flavor. Uh, let me open it up here and show you. They are, I haven't tasted these yet. Like I said, they just came out, I think like maybe, I don't know, a week ago or something. This is the chocolate chip cookie dough. So I got two boxes of these. I'll have to try these and let you know how I like them. The chocolate peanut butter is so delicious of these protein bars. It's the signature protein crunch bars. And the chocolate peanut butter, I'm telling you, so good, but I'm gonna try these and I'll let you know what I rate them. Oh my gosh, it just hit me. I just remembered that this week is my last week in my 20s. <laughs> I'm so sad right now. Why, God, why? <laughs> we had a deal, let the others grow old, not me. <laughs> Uh, Friday's my birthday. I'm gonna be 30 years old. I know, I look so much younger than what I am. So many people can't believe that. I know, I know. But yes, I'm gonna be 30, out of my 20s. This is gonna be devastating. I'm gonna physically just fall over dead because that is just so sad. I remember getting out of my teens. When I turned 20, that was so devastating. But now that I'm getting out of my 20s, oh my gosh, this is so sad, so sad. All right, I'm gonna go over there and cry now.
Now it's been about three hours and I'm gonna have meal two. You can't get much more basic than this meal at all. We got broccoli, we have a chicken breast, five ounces of the chicken breast, and right at half a serving of almonds. And then I'm also drinking one of these flavored waters right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and calculate this right now on my fitness pal so you guys can see uh, what the calories are and the proteins and carbs and fats and everything. So let's go jump straight into it. So we're going back to my fitness pal. We're gonna click on that, go to uh, meal two, and then just search chicken. And then chicken breast pops up, five ounces. That's what we have, click that. And then we also have almonds. Now, I don't normally count my green vegetables, so I don't put like broccoli in my fitness pal. If I was eating like other vegetables that has more carbs in it, like corn and stuff, yeah, I would calculate all that. But as far as like green vegetables, like green beans, broccoli and stuff, I just don't calculate that. So almonds, we have half a serving, so that is two and a half grams of carbs, eight grams of fat, and three grams of protein, so select that. And that is meal two, which is only 280 calories. Uh, not that many calories. Later on, after my workout is when I'm gonna have some carbs and then I'll have uh, more calories for dinner time. And as you can see, I do use a food scale. This is the most accurate way you can calculate your calories and it's super easy to do. So this thing calculates ounces and grams and then you just throw your food on there and then you put it in MyFitnessPal. So it's not that hard to calculate your calories using a scale. So the calories and macros that I'm showing you today isn't necessarily something you should exactly follow because your nutrition needs are gonna be a little bit different than mine. Right now, I'm trying to get ready for a photo shoot, so I'm trying to lose as much body fat as possible, and so I'm doing carb cycling. So today's gonna be a low to medium carb day. I'm gonna have a little bit of carbs before my workout and then most of my carbs after the workout, and my calories are really low for how big I am and stuff, but I'm so used to this low carb dieting that I can eat very low calories and low carbs and then maintain muscle mass. But for someone that is new to dieting and stuff, if they go to the extreme levels like I do, they're not gonna feel great, they're going to crash because their body's used to having more carbs. My body is not, so I can go extremely low levels of carbs and still have energy enough to do cardio, energy enough to go to the gym and stuff. But you can take what I'm doing here, but just modify it for your needs. And for any of my new followers out there, the reason why I have all my carbs after my workout or around my workout is for energy purposes. Uh, years back, I used to do just normal dieting where I'd go low carb and have like oatmeal and stuff. But what I found, if I wake up in the morning, have a big bowl of oatmeal, have my carbs in the morning, that around 11 or 12 o'clock, I start getting really sluggish and get really tired. Uh, but since I started like carb backloading, I have all my fats earlier on in the day and then later on after my workout, I have my carbs. I seem to have more energy throughout the day. All ready for the gym. Now I'm sipping on a black coffee before heading there. This is gonna be part of my pre-workout. I'm gonna take a half a scoop of Muscle Tech pre-build and then I'm also going to have one of these signature protein crunch bars. This is the new chocolate chip flavor. So I'm gonna try this right now. I've never tried one of these, so I'm gonna rate it compared to like the peanut butter ones. Mmm, that's pretty good. I would say the chocolate peanut butter ones are like a nine out of 10. This would be considered for me anyways, like an eight out of 10. Now the Muscle Tech candy bars, the protein candy bars are my favorite protein bars by far, and I would say, honestly, they're 10 out of 10 for me. So this is gonna be uh, the carbs before going to the gym, and I'm gonna put this in my Fitness Pal right now. So all you have to do is click on my Fitness Pal, go to, for me, it's meal three, go to the scanner, scan the barcode, and there it is right there, 230 calories, the protein is 20 grams, carbs is 20, and nine grams of fat. All right, so I'm gonna finish that up, and now we're gonna head to the gym. I'm gonna be recording it. I'm gonna be working out with Justin today, and it's gonna be a back day. What's going on, everyone? Hope you're all having a great day and enjoying the video so far. Let's go ahead and jump straight into this workout. So I started off with underhand grip, lat, Pull downs. I did five sets of eight to 12 reps, and on the last set, did a double drop set that I did not record. Now, before doing these five uh, working sets, I did three warm up sets, and that was just to get blood into the muscle before going into the heavier uh, weight. Now, after doing these lat pull downs, went into overhand grip, bent over barbell rows. I did three sets 
of 10 to 12 reps and on the last set just did a single drop set. Now after doing those three sets of overhand, I went into underhand grip and it was a super set. So I went from underhand grip, barbell rows for those uh, 10 to 12 reps, super set with wide grip, pull-ups and for the pull-ups I just went to failure and at that point doing a superset I was only able to get like maybe 8 to 10 reps of the pull-ups now if I was fresh doing pull-ups uh, like at the beginning of the workout I would have to add weight for me to hit failure at those 8 to 10 reps but because I was doing a superset and it was like the third or fourth exercise I was only able to get those 8 to 10 reps so if you're not able to do pull-ups uh, you can do these always assisted with the machine or you can add bands to your feet so this is the set with the underhand so all I did was just switch up that placement of my hands uh, and this is the pull-ups here so I just went from uh, down below where I was doing the rows straight into pull-ups above the rack uh, the quicker you can go into a superset, the better. If you're resting for a long time, that's not a superset. That's like a regular set. But uh, if you go back to back without resting, that's a superset. So this is the last set of the bent over underhand grip rows. And what I did was go pretty heavy for on the last set. This is the third one. I went for five reps and then did a drop set. So I had, I think, 275 on there. I'm not sure. I had 225s on the end. So what I did was just go to failure for those five reps and then immediately strip off the 25 pound uh, plates and then went to failure once more. And I think I was able to get out maybe six more, eight more reps, somewhere in there. After that went into more rows. This is a machine row, a neutral grip. I did five sets of these for uh, 10 to 12 reps and on the last set did a triple drop set that I did not record. A lot of the times uh, I don't record all the drop sets because you guys know uh, how to do drop sets and stuff and uh, recording it just takes way too long so that's why I did not record it. I love this machine because you're able to get a full stretch at the bottom of that uh, movement and then when I go back I try to bring back my elbows uh, you know, as far back as possible to squeeze my back. So after doing that machine row went into V-bar uh, lap pull downs. I did five sets of these for 10 to 12 reps and on the last set did a triple drop set. After that went into the last super set and it was a cable wide grip neutral grip pull downs super set with cable uh, neutral grip rows and you'll see what that is in a second. Uh, now I did six sets of these for 12 to 15 reps so this is really just to get as much blood into the muscle as possible and I was only resting for around 45 seconds in between uh, these movements. The rest of the workout I was resting for 60 to 90 seconds somewhere in there but this particular exercise uh, this superset I was only resting for this 45 uh, seconds. So after going uh, with both arms at the same time went into uh, just single arms just to get a few more reps in and this is the cable row here so just going into a normal to a neutral grip pulling back and that's the end of the workout. If you want to give this back workout a shot just scroll down to the description box it'll be all written out down there. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. All right, just made it home from the gym and it is golly eight o'clock. So I'm not used to working out at 530, but I've been working out with Justin and he gets off at work at 5.30, so if I wanna work out with a workout partner, I have to go in at that time. And the gym was packed because it is a Monday. Uh, so I've said all that just to say that normally I would have a protein shake right after the gym. I would have this Nitrotech ISO Whey, uh, about maybe, I don't know, a scoop and a half to two scoops of protein powder right after the gym, but because it's eight o'clock, I do want to eat something solid and have a meal in me. So what I'm gonna do is just take my creatine. I'm gonna take the Celtech Hyperbuild scoop of this. This is right at five grams of creatine. And <coughs> whoa! And it has other ingredients in it to help build muscle and stuff like leucine, it has BCAs in there. So I have a scoop of that. And then Shelby's cooking some rice. And so we're gonna have, I guess what, a taco salad or something? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have a taco salad and that's gonna be my carb source because typically if it was earlier on in the day, I would have all my bowls of cereal uh, because y'all know I love my cereal and that's when I uh, will throw in like a couple of bowls, a couple of servings of cereal. But tonight we're just gonna eat like a taco salad, have uh, some chicken for protein instead of having the protein shake and cereal. 
So now I'm constructing my salad. Uh, for the taco salad, uh, the ingredients are corn, sweet corn, uh, chicken, we have white rice, uh, black beans, and of course you have lettuce and ranch dressing. Now sometimes we buy baked tortilla chips, but tonight I don't think we have that. I don't think we have them in stock. No, we don't. Shelby's nodding her head. No, we do not. So we don't have any of those. So I'm weighing everything out. I have one serving of sweet corn already in here, and then I'm going to have half of this cooked rice in here because we did one cup of uncooked rice and so me and Shelby's gonna split that and that's gonna be right at like 80 grams of carbs for me just with the rice alone and then with the corn it said uh, 18 grams of carbs for one serving and then the beans have right at for one serving 18 grams of carbs as well so I'm gonna weigh out the beans here to 130 grams is a serving. Actually, I'm gonna do way less than that. I'm gonna do half a serving because that's a lot of beans actually. I don't want that many. So you just mix all this together and then you add the lettuce on top and then I'm gonna put the chicken on top of that and that's gonna be dinner. And this is the finished product and the dressing I use is this classic ranch dressing. So this is Greek yogurt dressing. Uh, per serving, it has 45 calories and I use two servings and I weighed that out as well. So now we're eating. Let me go over the calories real quick so I can eat because it's nine o'clock. <laughs> so I already showed you how to put everything in my fitness pal. So I'm just gonna uh, go over quickly uh, the calories and stuff for uh, this meal. So I have the sweet corn, I have the classic ranch, the black beans, the chicken, and the jasmine rice. Now I did not add the lettuce. I'm not gonna put the lettuce in there. So the calories is 860 calories, the most calories I've had in any meal today. So after I eat this, we'll go over it uh, in a little bit and I'll show you what my daily calories were. Two hours later. So we ate dinner, I took a shower, and we sent Mr. Brady to bed. And now I'm gonna have one more meal because I figured everything up in my fitness pal and I did not have enough protein. So I'm gonna have uh, casein powder. So this is Nitrotech Casein Gold. Uh, this is great to take at nighttime because it's slow releasing protein so that it stays in your system, they say up to like six to eight hours. So I'm gonna have a scoop of this. Then I'm also gonna have a scoop of regular whey protein powder. So one scoop in my bowl, and then grab another thing of protein. This is the Nitrotech Whey Gold. Uh, this is the vanilla funnel cake, so I wanna mix both of those together. The other one's chocolate, so these two mix very well together. I'm just gonna have like maybe a three, four scoop, so not a full scoop in there. And then what I do is make this into like a pudding. So I add almond milk and just mix it up until it's a good pudding consistency. I don't like to drink it. So I don't mix a lot of almond milk in there because if you mix too much, it's just gonna be like a protein shake. And I like to have it in like a protein pudding. There we go. That's a pretty good consistency right there. So I'm gonna eat this and this will be the last meal of the night. So now I'm sitting here eating my pudding and I just got done calculating everything in my fitness pal. So let's go over it real quick together. So total calories today was 1,936 calories. And for macros, I have protein 224 grams, carbs 150, fats right at 54 grams. And this was a low to medium carb day, like I said. And then maybe in like two days from now, I'm gonna have around probably 200, 250 grams of carbs. And the calories would probably be about 2,500 calories. I know this is super low, like I said earlier, but my body's used to it, so that's why I'm able to go this low and keep muscle mass. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this full day of eating. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. All right, guys, peace. Peace.